Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Aspasia, and this is my channel, Asparagus is Reading. This video might be a hot mess, and also might be filmed in multiple parts, just because I do have to work throughout the week, and school stuff, and da 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 Um, this feels weird. I haven't filmed a video since June, July, whenever the last time that last vlog went up. Um, I did my August TVR like two days ago. I honestly don't know if that's going to go up. And then I realized I for left out my TBR for Scallywagathon. So that's what today's video is going to be. If you don't know what Scallywagathon is, it is a readathon created by three best friends, Paper Fairy, Hardback Hoarder, and Read All the Books. It is like a pirate themed readathon. Just because they like pirates. Um, I believe they have one every year, if not every other year. This year, this is going to be plain, regular pirates, nothing crazy. And I think last year they did space pirates, but here we're just going to do pirates. Um, Ali from Hardback Quarter tends to create a little graphic each year where it has like a map, which I will put in here. And it also has a little graphic that goes with it, which will have the prompts, which also will be in here. I also have links to everything down below. Announcement videos, playlists, the TVRs, the website, the Twitter, all of that down there. I have always wanted to participate in Scallywagathon, but because, you know, if you've been here long enough, I don't stick to my TBRs, which means I tend to fail my readathons. I suck. But I think this month I can actually do Scallywagathon. It is from the August 16th to the 23rd, and I'm actually really excited because that is the week before school starts, which means I can get like my last minute reading in before school messes it up. I did download Twitter again just because there's supposedly going to be some Twitter challenges and I really like the ones I did last year. If I can find those tweets, I'll probably link those down below as well and maybe put like a little risk and recording in here, but I was having fun last year. I think they had like an hourly one and I was like, yes. So I'm hoping they have something like that again, maybe on Instagram as well so I can post it over there. Um, what else is there? I think of any other information oh if you complete four challenges i think th like you can do however many you want you can do every single one you can do two you can do six you can do 22 as in doubling up doesn't it's really up to you but if you read four challenges or like complete four challenges you can enter your information into like the google docs form that they have and then you're entered into a giveaway so i'm rooting for four and four only <laughs> so I can go into the giveaway and it's like a good amount where it's not too much that I might end up failing and struggling when school starts but also not too little where I'm sitting there for three days and I'm like I finished so let's get into the books so I believe I'm going to follow the 1689 path which I'll probably have a little graphic here, like a little voiceover so you can see like where the line goes. I'll probably do it in white just so you can see it. It might be hard to see just because it's already very colorful and graphic but you know gotta do what you gotta do right? Um, so for number one the prompt is Captain's Cabin. Most popular author on your TBR and I think the most popular author on my TBR is Cassandra Clare so Clever Princess. I have been trying to do a read along all year I once it hit in May, I kind of just fell off. I think I'm like four books behind again, if not five, so I'm trying to catch up. I'm going to be rereading Clever Princess. Um, she's a pretty big one, so I might double up on a challenge with this. This is the third in the Infernal Devices trilogy. If you have been on the book community long enough, Cassandra Clare is popular. Her Infernal Devices is probably the most popular if not the most beloved of her readers. My personal favorite so far. We begin to a little scared because the ending may be... If you know, you know. Um, I do have... Okay, let me try to think of my schedule. So my schedule, my, well, my work schedule for next week is not out yet. So I'm a little nervous about that. But Monday... 
I have a hair appointment, so I can definitely read as much of this as possible that day. Uh, Tuesday, I think I have an, a Zoom event to be on, so I could probably read while like they're talking. It's supposed to be all day, but there's certain parts I don't have to actually participate in, so I can read in between. Wednesday, I have another Zoom for book-related things, which I might vlog and talk about. It's like a Q&A with a couple authors, like Marissa Meyer, I think some other people are going to be there, so that's happening. So if I do work, it'll probably be in the morning. Thursday, I think there's another Zoom call I have to do for my orientation, because I'm a transfer student. And then Friday might be another Zoom call. I can't remember if it's both Thursday Friday or just Thursday. But, you know. So, this next week is going to be a little busy. But I'm hoping, like, in between, I'm going to be reading. This is the main one because she chunky. Um, the next one for my path is six uh, body songs or bowdy songs. I don't really know how to pronounce that. It's a book with romance. Honestly, any book could count for this. Not going to lie. I was going to double up Clockwork Princess for this, but I was on my shelf and I saw this lovely All the Stars and Teeth there, and I was like, you know what? I might have to reread this. I did read this in February. I'm probably going to pick it up and reread it again eventually just because it is really, really good. This features pirates and mermaids and magic and romance and tension and war and fantasy and a very um some morally great characters what more can you ask for honestly a princess a pirate a stowaway a mermaid and the crew that makes the queen um for the next challenge that will be a and it is washed ashore read a book that is published three plus years ago i think i'm going to do fairest by gail carson levine which is a very old book when did this come out 2006 yeah 2006 this is about oh girl what's her name aza aza asha however you want to pronounce her name she lives in the same world as Ella Enchanted, the book, and she has been given the gift. I think she's able to, what is it called, like project her voice? She can put her voice in a different direction, if that makes sense, I don't even know, but it's like a trick. And I believe her voice can also compel people to do things, so. I used to read this like every single year back in like elementary and middle school and then I kind of fell off with it and then I found this for cheap and I was like I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna read it. I have read quite a bit. I am not much through, you know, kind of fell off with it. If I really wanted to I could finish it this week but I think I'm gonna focus on my neck alley books this week and then keep this for the um, Scally white -a -thon. And the last book that I would like to read during Scallywagathon, which might not happen just because it is on Libby, and Libby can be very unpredictable. For example, it will tell you it will come in four weeks, but next thing you know it came tomorrow, but it will tell you it will come tomorrow, but then it gets extended and it's a whole mess. So, the next book I'd like to read is Children of Virtue and Vengeance, which is the second book slash sequel to Children of Blood and Bone. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little scared just because of some reviews this pump is going to be for number nine and that is black sales read a book with a black cover you can see there's a whole lot of black going on here like i said i am a little scared to read this just because the reviews have been very mixed negative or silent a lot of people were really excited for the first one talked about the first one people were upset about some things that the author did and then they got excited for the second one when it was you know talked about then they were upset when a date got pushed back like three times and then the book came out and it's been like, ooh, the book is out. Mm, not really liking it. And then silence. So now I'm kind of like, 
I'm hoping that it's good. Um, from the last time I checked the reviews and from my friends' reviews and people I follow, not looking too hot. So, I have heard that a lot of people feel that it has been rushed, which I f was very confused because they pushed the date back. But that, and I guess that could happen, you know, if you're rushing it, you kind of, you kind of, I don't know. But they felt like it was rushed and certain parts could have been dealt out more, and et cetera, et cetera. So, I'm nervous for that. Hopefully things go well. Um, if you have any thoughts on the book, please let me know because I'm scared. And, uh, yeah. If anything, for this whole readathon, my two main books are Fairest and Clover Princess. Um, like I said, Chosen of Virtue and Vengeance come in at any time. Watch it come in on the 25th, and I'm like, the readathon ended two days ago, hello. And then this is a maybe just because it's a reread. I mean, it is pretty short. I did read it very quickly the first time around. I think that is everything that I have to say. It's pretty short, really straight to the point. I'm trying to keep my video really easy because I don't want to force myself to film. I haven't really been wanting to film. So, hopefully this is okay for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to participate in Scally Wagathon, go ahead and look at all those information at the links down below. Tweet at them. Tweet at me. Message me on Instagram. Comment down below. Let me know what books you're reading because I'm curious. What are you reading? I did struggle a little bit choosing some books. If you're reading pirate themed books for this pirate themed readathon, please tell me. <laughs> I, after reading this and like one other pirate book this year, I was like, where has this been all my life? So if you have any pirate themed books, please let me know. Because apparently I've been missing out for way too dang long. I'll see you guys in a future video whenever that happens.